I put out the bat signal for you to give me your worst mistakes you've ever seen on Football Manager, and some of these were so bad, I actually wanted to cry. But first was Work the Space, who responded to the tweet with, I've never made any mistakes. Like, I don't know if you'd be able to win that game even if you were <gasps> trying to win. They're a good right, team. Okay. But outside of Jack being resigned to his fate, get it? The first submission was Andre Bruce Neils. Okay, ball in the air. Good save. What is he? So like, what is, what is happening in the code of the game that he turns around and is like, that's a good spot for me to get a new condo on the beach right there. All I got to do is throw the ball right there and they'll pay me. From Embreezy, three minutes to go plus four minutes of injury time at Anfield and it's 2-2. What happens in these last seven minutes is possibly the most brutal sequence of events I've experienced. Pure pain. Enjoy. All right, so Breezy is Brighton, 2-2. Showtime. Was he on? Oh, and he's in! No! <laughs> no way! What? Surely. Dude, what is that? It's physically impossible. Albert Einstein's rolling over in his grave at that deflection. There's no way. That's three in five minutes, and you know what's coming. You've played football manager ever. You know what's coming. No, just don't. Like, I know what's going to happen, and I still... <laughs> it's a penalty. No. No, it's not. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Yeah, f***ing go on with it then. Bullshit, man. Save it. F***ing absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> He's losing his mind. <laughs> Absolute sh**. I bit the I bit the woodwork four times in that game, and they get a penalty in the ninety-third minute. <laughs> so expertly just put together. Seriously, breezy, tremendous job. I am so glad that wasn't me. Am I discovering the point of this video that it's just to make you feel better about yourself that you're not in the situation these people are in? Andy Drummond says an own goal, of course. Well, let's see. First of all, expertly filmed with the phone pointed at the desktop. <laughs> Dude, I love how you can see the goalkeeper start to turn and jog to pick it out of the net before the ball's by him. Like, I get why that's happening, because in the game code, it's saying it's an own goal and the goalkeeper has to go pick up the ball out of the net. But the fact that he turns to methodically jog and pick it up when he could just walk over and, like, keep it from going into the back of the net to begin with. So shout out to this guy for attempting to not... Can you hear that? He's, like, trying not to breathe to get it in the video. He takes one big breath at the beginning. And it's like, wait, I'm breathing too loud. We appreciate that kind of quality control. We do. Next up is spotlight. Let's see what we have. No! Oh, he missed it! Oh, that's the greatest plot twist of all time! Oh, this is... What? He missed the shot, dude! He could have crawled it in! There's absolutely... <laughs> oh, I thought for sure it was the guy getting scored on, but it wasn't. Of course, I should have known. This is 20 eccentricity on the goalkeeper. Yeet! And then Vinicius Enrique, absolutely A plus finishing. I'm sorry, if you missed this in real life, you should never be back on the field again. Next from Total Flips. All right, here we go. We've got video for this one. I love that. Thank you, ref. Thank Was you, I ref. too harsh on him? Okay. Pass like back always so, makes me nervous. So, so Every January, what passing are we? I'm sorry, but you can't be doing them kind of passes in the midfield, lad. Because that's when we concede. That's when we concede, and that's when I have to take you off, bro. Because what, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just going to take you off, dude. It's the 19th minute of the game. It's the 19th. <laughs> it's a bad pass, but like, this is when you're already, you're already level seven mauled, and then somebody does something, and you're like, what is that? I'm getting, you know, that the straw broke the camel's back. Camel's dead. Subs need to be made. Get him out. We have AF Castro's submission. Okay, let's see what we got. Got about 180p is what we have. Oh, I just, I, I, he's gonna roll it right to him. There's, he's rolling, he's rolling it right to him. We've seen, we know how this goes. Right to him. Throw it to him. I dare you. <laughs> it's 
What? No, and he's gonna get scored on for it too. The guy, he just punted it two yards. He just punted the ball two yards. There's no, I didn't know that was possible in the game. He punts it from the edge of the six and it doesn't make it outside the box. It's closer to the penalty spot. Shout out to his defense for being able to at least scramble the ball outside of the box. But that is the worst punt I've ever seen. A five-year-old can probably punt the ball farther than Fernando Castro did in that play. All right, now we have Rich Owens and we've got lots of video for this, so. Lots of ooze. Okay. Oh, is that the goalkeeper? Oh my dude! I don't know if that's as much as a mistake. Is just like, can you imagine? Just, just got, just, just gave up a volley to a goalkeeper. What is the keeper doing? Why is he not running back? Every goalkeeper in that situation is wind sprinting like Nero back down the field. That's what mine does every time. This guy squares up at the edge of the 18 and lashes a volley into the top freaking corner. They can't believe it. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. What about Sam Well here? You know, there's a conspiracy theory that every clip a football manager has to be in the lowest definition possible. And this video is doing nothing to dispel that. Okay, well, he's offside. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like, I like how he's just waiting. He's like, this guy's going to be stupid enough to touch it. Just wait, man. Just wait. He's going to be dumb enough to touch the ball. Just wait. I mean, I have never seen that in football manager ever. First of all, in real life, they're flagging this for offside well before this is allowed to happen. But also in real life, you just have to not touch the ball and nothing bad can happen to you unless it rolls all the way into the goal. As long as you don't touch the ball or just let your keeper pick it up, this will not happen. Not that bad, but it cost me the prem. Okay, well, let's see what cost you the prem. Sandro Tonali. So I guess your Newcastle with Lionel Messi. I mean, like people miss these types of shots all the time, even in real life. But for it to be messy, with the league on the line. I can, if, if this happened in real life, Twitter would be toxic. It would be radioactive if Lionel Messi missed a center like this to win the Premier League. How did you get him on Newcastle, by the way? Not winning the league in a team that has Lionel Messi in the Prem? Yeah, that, that's a tough miss. My new goalkeeper and center back. I was up 2-0 at halftime and then lost 3-2. Literal pain. So not even hypothetical pain, okay. Well, he's going to pass it into the goal, obviously. I mean, he, no. No. <laughs> No, no, no. Dwells on ball, gets caught in possession. Disaster class here from Vuskovic. And then the goalkeeper, like, I don't really know what he's doing all the way up there, right? You can drop deeper and provide a better passing angle. And what an unnecessarily good finish by Bernardo Silva. This goes so close to the post. He's got the entire goal to aim for, and he's still, he just can't help it. It's habit. He just squeezes that in right at the post. Nearly missed it. You nearly ended up on this compilation for the other reason, Bernardo, I'm watching. And this was the goal to lose it. It was already 2-2, and then you do that. Hamza Abdi. Oh, goodness. It's in 2D, dude. How can it be that crazy in 2D? Oh, it's on mobile. Is that, th this is totally on mobile. And yet it's still higher definition than most of the submissions. <laughs> Nice. Love you guys. All right, we have a kickoff. Dude, is that only possible on mobile? I've never seen that. I've never heard of that. Was that it? Yeah, that was it for the clip. Okay. I didn't know it was possible in Football Manager. Like, what does this look like in a 3D match engine? The goalkeeper is 30 yards from the goal. Like, obviously, you just take the goal right in the corner. I'm Eric Laporte style, but like, I didn't know that was actually possible in FM. If my goalkeeper does that, never playing again. The good news for him is he's already halfway to the parking lot with how far he is out of the goal to begin with so he can get straight to his car and leave. Don't know if it can count as a mistake, but I was leading 3-2 in the Europa League semi-final and my keeper does this in the last minute and we lost on pins. That sounds like it sucks. Let's see. Okay, keeper has the ball. Now what's stupid that- Oh. Oh. I mean, it's not the worst thing we've seen. Obviously. But when you're in the Europa League semifinal, right, and you've gotten Stad Rene all the way to the Europa League semifinal, and you're playing Marseille, which, to be perfectly honest, is a pretty good draw for the Europa League semifinal, and you lose on that to equalize the match. 92nd minute. This is you close football manager for the day and you take a walk. That's the only way you're able to process this. Maybe throw your keyboard out the window. Maybe. All right, now we have Marcus. All right, Marcus, a free kick. We haven't had one of those. Oof. Oof. No, no. 
<laughs> oh, anyway, you scored. You scored anyways. Just friggin' post three times. Well, what was the point of that? Now he conceded in the 95th minute. Oh, dude. Well, I mean, at least you scored that goal. Can you imagine if he just hit the post three times and hadn't scored? Count your blessings. How dare you? And what about Tall? Worst goalkeeper I've ever seen. All right. I'll be the judge of that mobile video recording desktop person. Okay. Seems fine. <laughs> You're playing FIFA or EAFC. You accidentally hold R1 on a pass back for the goalkeeper. That's what this is. Another animation. I didn't know this was possible in the game because that goes directly through the goalkeeper's legs. He completely misses the touch and it's a goal. The match was also three to two. So this goal I'm assuming made a decisive difference. All right, Ashish Patwardhan. What do we have? Clearly traumatic because they're going into the replays to go show us this. They didn't record it at the time. They have to go back and find it, but they remember exactly where it is. <laughs> I can't do it. It's another one of those where when he passes it back to the keeper, you're like, oh, that's audacious. And then it pans over the goalkeeper's running into the net. It's like he didn't want to take it on the bounce. He's like, oh, I'll let it bounce first. So then it just bounces in. Your heart rate right here, about 90, 100, 312. That's how that works. And then there's meth and output. Okay, here we go. Amiri on the turn. He's all alone. Tafernier, dude. <laughs> this is so me. He's sitting here clicking on the guy like, square it, square it, square it, square it. Blind the man. What are you doing? Like he's just clicking on him repeatedly. Like, oh, are you? Can you believe? Can he's got an hour? He has an hour and a half. There's one defender. There's simply no way. And what affects this, by the way, is teamwork. But you have to argue, watching a situation like this, that every once in a blue moon, players don't square it quite enough. No matter what your teamwork rating is, you have to see that cross, right? But thank you all for a laugh and subscribe if you haven't. If you want to keep binge watching, this is a video of the worst misses you have ever had. You sent them in as well, and they're all so painful. That was the inspiration for me doing this, actually, because it was so fun.